Gary will exchange student from Buenos Aires, Argentina, as she attends St. George's College here in South Africa. She's attending Durban Girls College. She's 16 years old and in grade 11. She's uh, mostly interested in photography and film and plans to study in these fields uh, in the near future. And she also enjoys history and learning about different cultures. So Catalina, welcome to Lotus FM. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. So you enjoyed the rain as you came in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> tell us about the exchange program, the student exchange program, and why did you decide to become a part of it? Um, my sister actually did it two years before me, so she always talked about how it was a great experience, very enriching, so I always wanted to try it, and she was very insistent on me trying South Africa. Well, did she come here? Yeah, she came here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she enjoyed it, and you like, she all right. She loved it. She's coming back from <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about um, life as a student back home in Argentina. What is life? Uh, it's like any place where you're Every student. day. What time does school start for you guys? It starts at 8. Yeah, finish. So it starts at 8 and finish 4.30. So my school day is very long. Eight That's hours. a very long day. Yeah, it's a very long day. <laughs> That's a normal working day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a very long day. I'm aware. Okay, so and like, how many breaks do you have in between? Uh, I have two breaks. One that's like 20 minutes and another is 40 minutes, or 50, because we get to eat there. That's a real deal working stuff. That's like yeah. a long day. Now, coming from Argentina and obviously your first time experience here in South Africa, um, how different is it being here um, in terms of um, what's going on and from what you experience in your country? Uh, schools here is much more uh, strict in a way. Yeah, really? Like, yeah, like the whole country, the, the culture here is more uh, conservative than... Ah, okay. Yeah, so I think uh, that's the biggest difference. And also, my school is co -ed. so having only girls around is very mm. strange. So me. how long have you been in Durban for thus far? I've been here for uh, four weeks and a half. And how long is the entire duration of your stay? Four weeks and a half. Ah, so it's always, you always have. All right, so tell us about your host family, uh, Catalina, and uh, how you have adjusted to living with them and, and the, the lifestyle and the cultures and so on. Uh, I loved it, actually. It's like being in two places at once. Yeah? Yeah, because my family is Indian, so I get to learn about South African culture, about Indian culture every day, and I love it. I love my family. Um, I'm very close with my host sister, which is amazing, because um, it's a partner you get for life. So. so how big was the jump for you? Did you adapt quickly or it took you a good couple of days or a week or so to figure uh, out and adapt and ease yourself and absorb everything and yeah. Sleeping wise it took me like a week. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> but then it was I'm still getting used to some things but mostly my family was very uh good to me and very uh they very understanding and they it helped me learn every day, so it was good. All right. So what would you say are some of the highlights of your stay now as you think back in the last four weeks? Uh, my family definitely is definitely. the biggest highlight. Is it, I don't know. It's the best thing that happened in my trip. And then uh, they took me to Kruger National Park, so that was amazing. I got to see a big five, which was incredible. And uh, the Mandela capture site was very intense and very important. Do they give you good food? 